Hello everyone, my name is Asmagon and welcome back to the channel and um, I'm taking a little bit of a break from working on my minis today because that's what I've been doing for most of the day and uh, I got quite a bit done last night as well. Uh, I'll be right back to it after this like hour long break at most, whatever it takes to put this video together. Um, but uh, as soon as I hopped on my computer, checked the Discord, my Discord community, let me know that there's like this new update out from uh, GW. Uh, apparently it's about some more Space Marines coming out, which eh, I know, more Space Marines. But we're going to check it out, and uh, yeah, without further ado, like, let's get right to it. Lord Cole, uh, you can't just solve all of our problems by making more Primaris Space Marines. <laughs> the hell I can't. <laughs> oh, you're not, you're not, oh, you're, okay. Yeah. Oh, I like that detail. He's wiping the blade off with a chaos flag. Banner. Yay! Something other than ultramarines for colors. <laughs> and we're back to the ultramarines. Okay. I like the model designs, they look pretty cool. Uh, the painting team over at GW. N nice work on those models. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Um, Alright, so let's go bit by bit with this. Oh, a little bit, a little bit bit by bit with this. Yeah, I'm still not a fan. I'm still not a fan of this new logo. Uh, I can't get behind it, but to each their own. I kind of like this little, little bit at the beginning. Uh, at the same time, I don't. Because on one hand, I like the cheekiness. I, I, lo I, I, that's, I love cheeky humor. That's that's me. I find it kind of funny. And it's clearly, you know, it's clearly like, oh, you don't like Primaris? Well, here's some more. <laughs> but at the same time, that's also why I don't like it is... Uh, it's... <laughs> Again, it's, I like it from the sense it's kind of funny, but I don't like it because it kind of sums up a lot of problems that's going on right now. Is Realistically, if you want to sum up a lot of issues with GW at the moment, like, just listen to this. Lord Cole, uh, you can't just solve all of our problems by making more Primaris Space Marines. <laughs> the hell I can't. Take out the Lord Call part to say, like, oh, GW, you can't just solve all your, pro all your problems. By making more primary space marines, and yeah, it's, their response is pretty much the hell I can't more primaries. Press that fucking button. It's that pretty much sums up a lot of issues with GW at the moment. Is is right there. They perfectly summed up their own issues at the moment. So that's all I'll say is like that's a that's a huge issue. Because the thing is, I don't even play Space Marines uh, tabletop wise. Uh, I play. I have a army of Space Marines going, but I don't. They're not my mains. I'm kind of like, a, very occasionally collecting. Like if I, the last time I bought anything Space Marines related was like a month or two ago. No, even further back than that. Holy crap! So it, that's right. It's September. So I don't know. I don't even think the pandemic was a thing. I can't remember. It's been a while, and the last thing I got was not even, like, a full set of anything. It's just, like, a one box of something. I can't remember. for the uh, Predators! I got that from a friend of mine who sold all his old stuff. That, thank you, Brain, for clicking on that one. But even then, I got that second hand, and that was uh, discounted. I haven't sought out Space Marine stuff in well over a year. So... When it comes to tabletop armies, I gotta say, uh, orcs are my number one. Uh, second to them would probably be my uh, my Imperial Guard. Those are the two armies I love the most for the tabletop. I don't... I I'm not a huge fan of Space Marines. And I know plenty of people in the community are tired of Space Marines at the moment. There's just... They're so oversaturated in the community at the moment. I would kill if we would get some updates... I, I would love to see Drakari get an update, to, the Imperial Guard to get an update, that would be fucking awesome. Uh, it would be great to see Orcs get some updates. 
I, I'm, what's with this obsession with Space Marines, man? Like, cool, yes, I get it. Most people in the community have a Space Marine army, and most people love their lore the most. Trust me, I love Space Marine lore quite a bit, but that's because that's how much of it there is compared to every other faction. Ah, man, like, come on, give some TLC to the rest of the, to the rest of the races, GW, come on. Give Tau some more love, give them some more gothic feel, give the orcs some more love. Not that you haven't given them, you know, orcs are probably, I think, the second most loved by GW, if we're talking overall, but that's just from what I've picked up. I community may disagree with me. Um, I, just give the other races some, some love that you haven't given them for years. Space Marines, there's only so much you can suck that Space Marine dick before it just gets old, man. Uh, but yeah, let's look, but my whinging and bitching inside, let's talk, uh, let's talk models. So I fucking love these models, uh, design wise. And I know it's complete like 180 of attitude from what I was saying five seconds ago, but if I'm looking strictly at the models, how they're painted, how they're designed, I'd say it'd be probably fun to paint these guys. Uh, let's get and see if I can uh, increase the size here. Make sure you guys get a pretty good view. Like I said, I would love 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 to paint these guys these are really cool looking models yeah it's still the space marine standard setup i know that but what i mean is like the little details the blade on the front the ta uh the cloth the loincloth the wrap around and the purity seal the strap i like the overall design of the models we see here even though again they're pretty standard space marine in general of design but it's the little additions that i like quite a bit uh let's see let's get some close-ups here so yeah, I do, again, standard armor-wise and uh, Aquila, it's still standard there. But it's like, again, these little additions here and there. The wrapped around uh, purity seal, the strap, uh, this, I, would you call it a brooch? Uh, what would you call that 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 thing? I, I don't know. It, the part that connects like a cape or... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that's called off the top of my head. But I do like the... I do like its addition. I think it looks cool, and there's uh, room to paint that different ways. I like the blade in the front. Already mentioned that. All right, so let's just see if we can look at the other guys, because okay, it's still the same guy. All right, so here's some. Uh, again, I'm a huge fan of the shield. I've been vocal about that. Uh, maybe not in videos, but I've been vocal that I like the, the this large shield with the skull formation. I like that. I think that uh, that in itself lends quite a bit to some Black Templar designs that I would love to see brought out from the community. Um, Lore-wise, it wouldn't make sense with a Primaris Space Marine, but details. Let's see. Scabbard. Okay, that's cool. I'm trying to look at anything particularly stand out. I do like this guy's design. It looks kind of like a Space Wolf, though, with that, like... Uh, Kind of like my hair, actually. Kind of like uh, that right there. Although I gotta shade the sides, but basically it looks kind of like the same thing, more or less. Um, I do like that though, but it looks weird on an ultramarine. But again, that's like that's like a side thing. I think other than that, there's nothing stand out here. I'll point out. Let's see. Let's go ahead a little bit further. Again, I, I mentioned this in the video. I really liked. I really like that detail of, you know, just like, oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> it's like, ah, I just killed these guys, now on to the next one, let me wipe, <laughs> wipe the fucking sword off with the goddamn cloth of a chaos banner, that's kind of badass, I like that. Um, practically for, like, a painting job, though, like, I don't know, I don't know, I guess what, I, what I'm saying is I'm not sure, like, there's a lot of ways you could do that conversions and stuff like that. Uh, assuming that this deal you know, doesn't have like a pre decal you add on, or I don't know, I'm rambling at this point, but I do like that detail. It's just I'm in practical use for like the standard person playing space screens. I can't immediately, I can't immediately think of like too many different variants of that, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, okay, so that's like the close-up of it, and I do like I do like that design though. I really do. Again, I see more of a Black Templar, uh, more of a Black Templar influence here, which is why it's so like weird for me to see all like the Macrag blue all over all over him. But again, I I, I see some awesome Black Templar uh, uh, conversions of all this all these designs that I would love to see. 
But again, GW's obsessed with using Ultramarines as the uh, poster boys and as the base for painting all their fucking advertised miniatures. Like, come on, diversify it a little bit. Uh, right here, I liked the... I like these. I can't remember what they were called off the top of my head. It'll click. Oh, right here. Storm Speeder Thunderstrike. Very edgy name, <laughs> but beautiful. Uh, and again, I think these designs, again, lend themselves very well to, like, the Black Templar colors, which is black and white. I, I like that a lot more than the McCrag blue and a slightly lighter blue uh, highlights here. I, I don't, again, I find, I, I I don't hate the color blue. I, I genuinely don't hate the color blue. But for some reason, I see it so goddamn much with, like, the miniatures and the advertisements and everything for Space Marine stuff. I find it vexing at this point. Uh, and I'm also not a huge... If you're a fan of my channel, you know I really don't like uh, Ultramarines from a lore perspective. So, <laughs> that doesn't help. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do like that they give, like, kind of... For, for once, they're, like, giving, like, a good little preview of what it, this what their stuff would look like with other chapters other than Ultramarines, which I do like. Um, other than that, there's... I, I like these guys. It's not anything stand out, though, I think I'd mention here... Salt Intercessors, uh, I like that. The one with the knife. Or, well, I say knife, but technically... Remember, Space Marine, in terms of scale, that would actually be like the size of like a fucking machete <laughs> for a normal person. Uh, again, I think at that point... Uh, I like the paint job right there. I like that I like that fade. That's more of like a painting thing. Um... And that's really it. Uh, eradicators. It looks like there's some kind of like heavy intercessors, eradicators type deal here. Uh, I like the big guns. I like the design. I'm curious what their their rule base looks like. I don't immediately know off the top of my head. Uh, and uh, I know Valoric did a video on this. I saw that in my recommendeds, but I didn't click on it because I at least I think it's on this specifically. It might be on something else. Uh, uh, either way, I'll link it in the pin comment in the description. Um, because Valorix usually a great source of uh, latest news and stuff. He's a he's a huge Space Marines fan uh, as well, so keep that in mind when you watch this video. But I I'll link it and share it. He's a great source if you don't already follow him, which would amaze me. Like <laughs> if you found me before Valorix, that would be weird. But yeah, all in all, I like the design. I like the new models. I think they look cool. I think there's a lot of potential for really cool conversions of different chapters and paint jobs. I'm not. Uh, again, though, at the beginning of this, again, this kind of, this kind of, again, sums up some issues, especially my issues with GW at the moment. Just solve all of our problems by making more Primaris Space Marines. <laughs> the hell I can't. Just saying. <laughs> please, GW, please give the Imperial Guard a good update. Please. Give some TLC to the goddamn other races and factions. Please. Your obsession with Space Marines has got to take a pause button for at least a little bit. Come on, man. But anyway, that's really all I have to say. Uh, all in all, anyway. Uh, I don't think there's anything immediately out of this that strikes uh i know that they're releasing some new rule bases and stuff like that i don't know much about it again i'd recommend valoric he probably has a video about it if not the one i'm thinking i saw in my recommendeds that might include that but for the most part uh i liked this i still found that cheeky bit at the beginning funny uh because again i like cheeky humor um i think i think it's unfortunate that they kind of summed up their own problems <laughs> uh in the first like 30 seconds <laughs> but eh. I don't know. To each their own on that one. Uh, and, and by the way, if you're a Primaris fan, if you like them, that I'm not saying you can't. I hate the lore explanation of them. I don't like Primaris. Um, from a design perspective, I don't like that they're... I don't like... You know, for me, I like the oversized pauldrons. It gives the idea that the suit is that much bigger. With Primaris, they're kind of... like They look more uniform to them. So from a design perspective, that's like the one thing I'll, I say I, I don't like. 
But uh, design-wise, other than that, I genuinely like the Primaris stuff visually. I think it looks cool. I'm just not a huge fan of the lore, and I'm not a fan of like the pauldron setup. But that's that's very minor. All in all, um, I liked I liked it. All in all, the the trailer anyway. Uh, I think the models look cool. Again, not a fan of the lore, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't know anything about the rule base updates, so again, I'll recommend Valoric for that one. Uh, assuming he's made a video on it, I'll look. Uh, if you don't see a link to any kind of like rule base update, it might be in the same or might be the video I saw in my recommended. I don't know. You'll see that linked. But uh, anyway, have a good one, guys. And uh, I got to get back to painting in a little bit. So um, I'll put this up and probably get back on track. Uh, but yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye. -bye.